So a few different things we discovered for today. Um, one is the exercise to try to get IM index middle, at least in English, um, moving a little bit more um, gracefully together so that down the road you can play your scales this way. So I want you to rest your thumb on six and go right to the G string. And the idea, the ideal is to get an even tone, no bend in the wrist, straight wrist, even tone. This is just an exercise, no speed. And when you're ready for the next string, I want your thumb to move down with it. Do that for a minute every day, then work back to the second string, back to the G string, as slowly and methodical as you can, so that down the road your scales can become this. So the thumb is, is, this is better than it was before. I like thumb index, but it's a little poppy. It's kind of got that, it's too fat for those strings. Okay, and then the scale we reviewed from the Segovia book was this, starting at the C with your second finger, doing um, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Always fingers down, consecutive fingers down. We need that economy of motion. Same thing with this octave. Fingers down. Pinky substitution. Make sure you're using this fingering so that you get, you're getting a workout with the pinky. Okay, now for your song, we just talked a lot about um, making it more of a repetitive kind of exercise mantra to work on your flow. Three, six, eight is all about a flow. And if you're always working on the mechanics of the left hand, the rhythms suffer. So do this for a while, four times probably minimum, and then same thing here. Try to get your tone to be even, nothing too poppy. Your first finger is playing well, but it has a habit of dangling. Most of these chords can engage it for, for the next chord, and it doesn't, it's not in the way. So I want you to be aware of that all the time that you're practicing. A big one today was taking the F with the pinky. So it was right before it was something like And then you want to keep that first finger down. Just tell your brain it's an F and add the pinky when you get to that beat. And here, definitely middle finger, not your thumb. First finger stays put, so you have Fingers ready and then ring. Okay, it's the same thing at the end with the pinky down. Just make these little mantras with these sections. And then I think it was this G over B. It's all about your tone and your evenness and your relaxation of the right hand. Um, so do that for each measure, just one at a time, very methodically. Then for the A minor piece, I don't want you to lose complete sight of it, although I appreciate your desire to be focused. Um, just take the first chord, the two note A minor, and you can practice shifting it up to the two note E major. And very slowly, because this pattern is more complicated, um, but like twice as slow as you're thinking the piece should be. Once you've done it three or four times, just shift to E, the only difference is the bass is on the fourth string now. It's just a distillation of the essence of the piece. That's it, brother.